Hello, Joe from Montmartre here again. Thanks for joining us. Do you know what I heard the other day? Art is not what you see, but is what you make others see. Edgar Degas said that. Now, Edgar Degas was an amazing artist who painted from 1853 until 1907. He was famous for painting, sculpture, and his drawing. His favorite subject was ballerinas. But it is his work with pastels that is where the inspiration for today's loosely based lesson comes from. So in today's lesson, I shall be using the Montmartre Ultra Soft Pastels and you get 48 vibrant colors in the set. I'll also be using the Montmartre Pastel Pencils and you get 60 colors and they're all contained in this neat tin case. The support I'll be using is a Montmartre Pastel Pad. They come in four colors, cream, gold, green, and pink and it's in an A3 format. Our first step is to draw our pretty little cat in in pencil. Now we have provided a downloadable PDF with the outline and the photographic reference should you need it. I'm going to draw mine in directly from this photo. If you have an image of your cat that you'd like to draw up, that's fantastic too. We'd absolutely love to see the finished product. So let's get into it. Keep your lines light and flowing when drawing. A clever rendering will not be salvaged by a badly drawn image. Now to add some colour with the pastels. I'm starting with the turquoise White Haven Beach on the background. Degas used this colour like it was going out of style. So with the pastel, just remember we're working on the negative space here and just bring the colour into the white cat's fur to suggest fluff. So once you've roughed in the negative space around the cat, use your finger to blend in the pastel. And you, I'm using little circular movements and this Montmartre paper can really cop a bit of a hiding, so you can use a fair bit of pressure. You can use a blending stump as well for tight corners and edges. So our turquoise has been blended in and I'm just laying over some Bondi blue and I'm scumbling it in. I'm just going up half the way of the paper here and I'm just drawing in a horizon line so a cat doesn't look like it's floating in midair. Time for a little light blue, I think. So I'm just bringing the tone down here a little bit now with Cumulo Nimbus Light Blue. And Degas absolutely loved this colour. Use a mid-blue pastel pencil for the shadows around the cat so you can get a nice thin line. So the last stage of the background is I'm going to scumble in some kangaroo paw. Lightly brush a little over the surface, just a bit to add interest. Well that's our background done, now let's start on our cat and build up the tones from light to dark. So I'm starting with white first. With pastels, you really want to apply your colour in large blocks. Massing the main colours helps speed up the process. As I'm building up the tone, I'm following the form of the fur. A lot of Degas' paintings had movement, and that's what we're trying to achieve here. Now bring in our darks for contrast. Then some beige on the darker areas of the furs and some blues for the kitten's eyes. The blue eyes are what makes this Berman kitten so special. So I'm just picking out the detail now. It's best to do this with the pastel pencils. 
the vibrant galar pink on the rose really makes the piece come alive. Remember to blend and neaten up the edges. I'm adding Waratah Red and Emu Egg Blue to add dimension to the petals. Look at how rich that pigment is! Darken your deepest shadows with Palm Cockatoo Black. And finally add some whiskers on our furry friend, using quick twisting strokes with your white pastel pencil. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and feel inspired enough to give pastels a go. Until next time, keep on creating art.